And welcome to your Go Market update for today, the 19th of September 2022. Mike Smith, and analyst at Go Market here. Welcome to Monday morning. And of course, hope you have a good weekend. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, we had the mildly weaker session again in the US markets on Friday. Major indices moved towards two month lows. Really volatile week, and I really don't expect things to change this week. We have a fairly quiet day today. We've got some public holidays obviously thrown in to the UK today for obvious reasons, as well as Australia on Thursday and Japan shut as well. We've got the Wednesday's US interest rate decision with the FOMC starting their two day meeting tomorrow. That's going to be the major market focus this week, I think. But outside of that, there is plenty of other data to digest. But that is going to be the major act, undoubtedly. US futures are now lower in Asian trading after a positive start. And Asian indices are cautious and slightly negative. ASX is just playing with neutral around about the middle of the day. And European equities are pointing to a very slightly higher open. We did see a little drop off after some Chinese data came in a little weaker than expected and 60 minutes in the US. Released their Biden interview who suggested that the US would defend Taiwan if China invaded. Uh, neither of those helped market sentiment this morning. It's going to be a technical day, lots of things trading within tight ranges. And really one of the days you've got to be very careful of because of the potential to try and force trades with very low possible return due to uh, the choppiness and volatility. US dollar has seen a slight rise today after mild weakness in Friday, still below 20 year highs. Uh, gold remains weak and still around March 2020 lows, uh, slightly lower again this morning and oil is in a tight range on the Brent CFD crude contract between 1995. Copper's managing to hold 350 support and VIX has paused at 26. That's been its level if we look at the chart for the last few days. Bitcoin is interesting and is testing long term 18,600 support to continue last week's softness. We might have a look at chart in a moment. And little data of note today, as I've already suggested, it's going to be later in the week things ramp up. Now, a couple of charts of interest makes sense to start with Bitcoin. And I put it on a weekly chart so you can see context. There was the lows we've been at all of August, beginning of June. And you can see the last time we we're at this level was around about October 2020. So very, very weak. If we look at the daily chart, you can see that drift downwards back towards this 18600 level. And this is at the lows of the session as well. We're looking at 30 minute chart. You can see that big drop off over the last hour or so. This is looking very, very precarious. A breakthrough that could precipitate a lot of selling and there isn't much to hold it above 16,000 if it does break that level. We're actually going to put a US chart up to have a look at today and we're interested in Carnival Corp and you can see there it is tradable as a CFD on Go Markets. 11.30 is an interesting level. We look as though we're going to break through that on Thursday. A little bit of weakness on Friday but held up okay, came off its lows. So we're looking at 11.30 as a key level. Possibly give it a little bit of a space up to maybe 11.40, 11.50. Uh, but then there's a very healthy upside to the next key level at around about this 13.50 level. Could be 15 to 16%. So one to certainly keep an eye on in tonight's trading and over the next few days. This could be one of those stocks which still does okay even if there is some volatility. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.